So John Delaney keeps shoving his foot in his mouth on the issue of Medicare for All. Here he is babbling while Ali Velshi tries to correct him. Right, Medicare Advantage is an option that our seniors get. John, they don't pay anything more for I, it. I understand, John, but whether the, the the senior pays for it, the insurance system pays for it, the government pays for it, your private insurance pays for it, there are higher costs and lower cost, costs, right? So when you when I say something costs more and you say it doesn't cost the user more, it costs the system more. So the United States pays more than double what all industrialized countries pay for health care. Right. That's a cost that might be borne by you, it might be borne by your insurance company. But there's a reason for it, right? If you need a so specialist, in, if you need a specialist in the UK, Mm -hmm. Right, it's not emergency care. You got to wait about nine months. That's just you not get true. It, yeah, That's you, just it is not too true. true. That's you get, a I just had a point no. Right. I just had a friend of mine who had a hip replacement in the UK I, I, that I had to wait nine months. Everybody okay, I'm nine. just saying. I, I just I think you got to have your facts right. Medicare uh, for listen, all. Listen, my facts are 100 not... percent right. right. The gentleman from Kaiser just confirmed okay, it. So Medicare, Medicare doesn't pay the cost of health care. That's a fact. Private insurance pays twice what Medicare does for hospitals. If every hospital were reimbursed at the Medicare rate, they would close. So what's your answer to that? No, that Where does my, the, no but what's your answer to that? My argument is You're that basically arguing that hospitals should close. I, I'm not I mean, this that. is economics. You're an economist. You've got to understand the economics. for me. That's fine. I, 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 I'm not making that argument at all. And what's your argument to the 150 million Americans who are going to lose their health care? Why would you lose your health care for all program? By definition, because it makes it illegal. I'm not going to get a word. Here's an example. What if this new Medicare for All program doesn't reimburse Before mental all part means everybody gets it. There are 11 basic health benefits, the, the guaranteed health benefits that were there under Obamacare. I'm not arguing it's a better deal. I'm just telling you your argument that people are losing health care under it is incorrect. It, it is correct. It's just not correct. The for all part means for all. Okay. But it's not what? the same, but, but it's your choice. How do you know the Medicare for all benefits are going to be the same? Again, my dad, the union electrician, he loved his health care that he got through the IBW. If my dad were alive today and I were to say to him, Dad, you got to get off that IBW and trust me, we're going to have this great I, new government plan, you. he'd I be like, people, I'll, yes. let me see it first. I hear you why people are, would be frustrated. I'm just saying, it, it is coverage for all people. It may not be at the level that you're used to when your insurance company pays twice as much as Medicare. I think that's understandable. Okay, right? so then, so what are the people who then have... But they're not losing their health care. I never losing, said they lost their health care. The you just said that. <laughs> he said repeatedly, you're going to lose your health care. And then when pushed on at the end, he's like, I never said they're going to lose their health care. Bro, what the... Stop talking, dog. Stop talking. You're embarrassing. You are embarrassing, and now you're the unwitting face of corporate sharks who've been ripping people off for decades. Jesus Christ, you're stupid, John Delaney. Okay, so um, uh, let's let's break this down a little bit. There was a, a moment there in the middle where John Delaney says, "What do you mean? It's your choice. It's your choice under this system. My dad has health care through you know a union contract. It's his choice. He gets to keep it, so that's better." Stop and think about how stupid this notion is of choice when it comes to health insurance. What does that mean by definition? Here's what it means. You have a choice in what gets covered in your health insurance plan. Who in their right mind would sit there and go, okay, so if I get some sort of heart disease, let's cover that. But if I get cancer, I, no, don't cover that. If something happens with a broken bone, cover that. If there's something wrong with my kidney or my spleen, I'm good. I don't need coverage on that. What the fuck are you talking about? This notion of choice. Choice when it comes to health insurance. Here's the extent of the choice that would make sense. Sick. Help. That's it. <laughs> Choice. What do you mean choice when it comes to health insurance? If you're sick, if you need help, you should get help and you shouldn't have to go bankrupt for it and it should be covered at the point of service. Period. That's it. That's what every other developed nation has said. That's the conclusion that they came to because they're not giant idiots or corporate corrupt tools. I don't know which one you are, John Delaney. I'm kind of thinking both. Okay, so... Let's explain in more detail what exactly this means under Medicare for All, because there is a little bit of confusion out there. Now, some would say I'm partly responsible for feeding that confusion. I disagree with that, because I think that a lot of this stuff is beyond obvious where it didn't even need me to mention it. But under Medicare for All, duplicitous care is banned. 
So what does that mean? That means that if you have a problem under Medicare for All and you go get it taken care of, whatever kind of surgery you want to, you know, throw in there, you need liver surgery or something, I don't know, um, that's covered and that's taken care of, it would be illegal for a private for-profit insurance company to say, oh, we're going to cover your liver surgery, but we're going to charge you three times what you're paying under taxes on Medicare for All. That would be illegal under Medicare for All because it's duplicitous care and it is predatory by definition. So if, if you have a role for private insurance companies, the only role there is is what's called supplemental care. Now, I'm totally in favor of supplemental private insurance and supplemental private care. But what does that mean? Supplemental is very simple. It means extra. So, there are going to be things under a Medicare for All system which exist in a gray area. And they're in a gray area for a reason. Because they belong in a gray area. So, for example, there's a lot of people who swear by chiropractors and say this is legitimate. This is totally a form. This is a doctor. So, what do you mean? The reality is, they're not doctors. That they're doing um, tactics and procedures that are totally unproven. Their whole philosophy is based off this thing called vertebral su subluxation. And the whole idea of it originally, seriously, you should go read about this, it's insane, is that, oh, the reason why, you know, people get all different kinds of diseases is because their spine is not straight. And so we're here to put their spine in alignment and therefore cure all these ailments that are impacting them. That's the original idea of chiropractic medicine. It's not medicine. It's pseudoscience through and through. But still, some people swear by it. Now, some people, it's just really a placebo. And they admit it's a placebo. So should that be covered under a Medicare for All system? Because it's totally unproven and it's based on pseudoscience. So should tax dollars fund that? What do you think? I think no, because it's not real. It doesn't work. How about homeopathy? Homeopathy is like kind of like water therapy where you have a tiny little minute amount of some substance mixed in with water and you give people like drops of that substance and they swear by it. Well, problem with that is, you know, uh, studies show it's not real. Like you're not actually getting a benefit from it. So should Medicare for All cover that? I say no. And I give you a thousand other examples because there really are like a thousand examples of things that exist in this gray area where people say that's real health care, but the evidence says it's not real health care. So what do you do for situations like that? Well, that's where the role of private insurance and private health care can come in. Supplemental care. Oh, you don't like the traditional uh, approach where we're using proven medicine under a Medicare for all system where you get sick and you get help and you don't have to pay the point of service. Fine. Here's another option. You want to do private insurance and you want to do private care for these things? By all means, go right ahead. So yes, 95% of the rapacious, for-profit, private insurance con men that exist right now, they wouldn't exist anymore under the current system. But that doesn't mean you ban supplemental private insurance. That doesn't mean you ban supplemental private care. That's what we're talking about here. So I fundamentally reject this notion from John Delaney of like... <laughs> What do you mean, bro? Choice. What about choice? Choice? What, what are you talking about? Why should it be legal for a for-profit private health insurance company to say, hey, you give me X amount of dollars per month, and then if you get sick, maybe I do cover it, maybe I don't cover it. I don't know, bro. Maybe check the details to see if you get your liver surgery covered uh, with the plan that you currently have. Hey, I don't know, bro. Sure, I charge you $500 a month, but now you have a deductible of $5,000 before I pay anything. Well, I can't afford $5,000. Too bad, bro. Choice. You signed up for it. I gave you the choice of going fucking bankrupt even though you have insurance. So, John Delaney is full of shit. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And thankfully, this is an issue where Ali Velshi is Canadian. And so he knows that what John Delaney is saying is bullshit. And the idea of weight lines is also bullshit. For elective procedures, you might have to wait. You want to know why? Because they're elective procedures. But if you need help, you get it and you get it immediately. Now, here in the U.S., they act like we don't have wait lines here. <laughs> we sure as shit do. And it's littered with the body of thirty to 45,000 dead Americans who couldn't get health care because they couldn't fucking afford it. So not only do we have wait lines here, they're, they're littered with dead bodies. 
So everybody rations care. It's a matter of what are your priorities when you ration care. They do it in single-payer countries based off of need. In other words, the most rational way to ration care. Here in the U.S., we do it based off of the size of your wallet. A very classist and stupid way to ration care. So John Delaney is wrong. He's a loser. And he's polling at 0% for a goddamn reason, 1% max for a goddamn reason. And thank you to Ali Velshi for busting him up without even trying.